It turns out not all lottery winners end up going bankrupt. This guy Neil Wanless bought a single Powerball ticket back in 2009 at the age of 23. His numbers hit and he landed a jackpot worth just over $232 million. There are a ton of stories out there about lottery winners who lose millions or go completely broke. In fact, one report found that as many as one third of all lottery winners will eventually go bankrupt. But that's not the case for Neil. He's instead finding ways to grow his fortune, which is exactly what just happened when he sold his ranch in South Dakota for a record $37 million double what he paid for it. Making over $18 million flipping a ranch in South Dakota is an impressive feat, but the property itself is even more impressive. It's unlike anything I've ever seen before. This all started when this cowboy Neil Wanless picked up a Powerball ticket in a small town called Winner, South Dakota. Yes, he actually bought the winning lottery ticket in a town called Winner. And Winner is a very small city in Tripp County with a population of under 3,000. The area is most known for is pheasant and deer hunting. Winning ticket really got Neil and his family out of a bind because reports say that not only were they trying to make a living in one of the nation's poorest counties, but they also recently had their mobile home repossessed and had fallen behind on their taxes. Now, let's be honest, a family in this situation is probably not a family who should be spending their money on lottery tickets, but hey, he did win the Powerball, so what do I know? After Neil won that $232 million jackpot, he decided to take the lump sum payout, which was $118 million. Then of course, on top of that, he had to pay taxes on the winnings as well. So after all said and done, Neil walked away with about 88 million bucks. He didn't have much to say publicly at the time other than during a press conference he shared that he wanted to thank the Lord for giving him the opportunity and blessing him with this fortune and that he would not squander it. And he also said that as a rancher who at the time lived on his parents 320 acre ranch he intended to continue ranching just on a larger plot of land on his own. It didn't take long before Neil found somewhere to spend some of that new fortune. And that brings us to the subject of today's video, the ranch in Western South Dakota known as the Bismarck Trail Ranch. Now I know a ton of people who watch my videos live in a big city, myself included. So before we get into the Bismarck Trail Ranch, let's just clarify that a rancher is kind of like a farmer, but a farmer generally grows crops like veggies and grains and nuts, and then they sometimes also grow cotton. But a rancher is more in meat production, so they have livestock on their pastures, and their source of revenue is from the animal meats and their hides. A rancher's job day to day is feeding and grooming their animals, herding cattle, cleaning up the barns, irrigating meadows, fixing fences, that kind of thing. So now that we've established who this guy Neil is and how he spends his time, let's take a look at the $18 million ranch that he bought with his Powerball winnings. All right. So this website, Hall & Hall, still has all of the property information up, including a ton of photos, which we'll check out here in a second. First though, the highlights. So we know Neil, that lottery winner, just sold this place for $37,500,000. It's located in Vail, South Dakota, and it has over 41,000 deeded acres. Scrolling down a bit here, this is Rob Nelson. So I think this was the listing agent behind the transaction. So he made a fortune when this deal closed. This just the facts section tells us there's actually almost 48,000 total acres, but the deeded acres are just over 41,000. There's a couple of homes and outbuildings on the property. It's got indoor and outdoor arenas, a ton of working facilities. All the perimeter and interior fencing is less than 12 years old. There's 38 pastures, miles of pipeline. You'll find whitetail, mule deer, and pronghorn antelope on this ranch. And they say here that this property was actually a pretty good investment opportunity because there's a lot of renewable leases in place and the owner leases most of the ranch for a bunch of yearlings, cows, calves, wild horses. So I guess how this works is when you have a ranch or a property that's this size, you end up keeping some of it for your own use, of course, but then you can lease other chunks of the property out to other farmers and ranchers in the area just to create a little bit of an additional source of income. Brokers comments call this a unique ranch because of the topography and the diverse uses here. And then these last comments make it sound like Neil really took care of this property. He says that the improvements are immaculate, it's well-built and well-maintained, and you can see the pride of ownership. Next, I just wanna show you guys this map really quick. 
quick, and I'm not gonna lie, this is way outside of my pay grade. I don't really understand all of what's going on here, but you can see the red highlighted areas are the property that was just sold. And then you can see in these more like yellow sections, these are the BLM leased land. So within this pocket of land that he just sold, there's a bunch of land that he was leasing out from the BLM. Other than that, if you look at all these little buttons here, like this tells us there's a shop here at the top, over here in this section, there's a barn and indoor arena and stalls. But then there's these little blue buttons all over the place that say stock, dam, or tank. I have no idea what that is. If any of you guys out there are ranchers, please let me know in the comments why there are so many of these stock, dam, or tanks on this property. Anyways, let's move on and check out some of the photos together. With this cover shot, I think we've got the main house over here on the left. And then there's another house over here, which looks to be closer to like the stables and arenas and stuff like that. Here's the entrance to the property, really clean and proudly displays Bismarck. Mark Ranch there on the left. It's hard telling how much here is the subject property, but I'm guessing this body of water running through the shot does belong to the Bismarck Ranch, which is super cool. I did see that fishing was advertised as an amenity for this property, so maybe that's where you fish. Here is the main house, and according to the listing, this place is 6,500 square feet, plenty of space. This is where that Neil guy actually lived. This shows us just how crazy big this property is. It goes on forever. You've got all those cows or whatever those are out there. They're grazing in the pastures and a little body of water that I think we get a close up of here in a second. Yep, and here's that water. I mean, how awesome would it be to have this on your property and just come out here and go fishing in the morning or even just post up and read a book? Pretty cool. Tons of horses that they show in these next couple of shots. And remember the horses on this property, I think partially belonged to the owner, Neil, and some of the others belonged to the other ranchers or farmers in the area that he was leasing the property out to. They've got some kind of crop growing on the property too. I would guess that most of this is corn and I cannot even imagine what it takes to maintain this entire field. We've got another perspective of what looks like a couple of barns, a place for parking, and then a little staging area for the horses. I'm sure I am screwing some of this up, but remember guys, I am not a rancher, I'm doing my best. Along with horses on the property, there's also cows everywhere. I mean, I skipped ahead a lot, but there's cows in like every other shot. So we've got a bunch of cows here, we have a bunch more cows here. And now here we are 80 photos in. They're finally starting to show us some photos of the main house. So we've got a gym first. Here is one of the bedrooms. Here's the kitchen, a lot of wood tones, massive island, nice kitchen. The living room's pretty cozy. It's got a nice fireplace and a bunch of animal heads on the walls. Here's one of the bathrooms. I'm assuming the primary bathroom. There's a fireplace in there, a big walk-in shower, a tub, nice big deck looking out over your 50,000 acres. And of course this house wouldn't be complete without a movie theater, a poker table, a pool table, and a bar with Bismarck Ranch engraved into the side of the granite countertop. Now I'm not gonna lie, as somebody who's lived in a big city basically my entire life, I definitely see the appeal of living on a ranch and basically this being your entire life. I mean there's no doubt that it would be very, very hard work to be a rancher and oversee a property this size, even if you had a big team to help you, but it would also be kind of nice to not have to deal with all the traffic and pollution and congestion that comes with a big city and instead just have a nearly unlimited amount of beautiful land all to yourself. Let's be real, I don't think I'm ever going to leave the city and become a full-time rancher, but if you wanted to be one back on that Hall & Hall website, they've got a bunch of other ranches for sale and some of them are priced a lot lower like this 1,600 acre one for $6 million or this 1,500 acre one for 8.5 million. If you were wondering what's next for Neil Wanless, he's not getting out of ranching altogether. It turns out he's just wanting to spend more time at his wife family cattle ranch in Canada Plus, he bought a house in Arizona recently where he wants to spend the winters. He told the journal that he could have retired and done really nothing and sat on his butt and enjoyed it, but he loves ranching. It's a hard life, but when you love what you're doing, it's an easy life. It sounds like Neil is continuing to live a pretty modest life for a guy who's worth around $100 million. It's pretty cool to see that we've got a lottery winner who's probably never gonna go bankrupt. I hope that you guys enjoyed the episode today. If you did, hit the like button or leave a comment down below and let me know what you would do with 230 32 million bucks. And also one more thing, I started sending out a weekly newsletter every Friday where I show what's going on in my life lately, the state of the real estate market, all of that. So make sure to sign up to receive those email notifications with a link down in the description if you guys haven't already. That's it for this one. I'll see you next time.